in the building, Tiffa Tiffa TV. Yo, what's happening? This is Big Daddy Kane chilling with Tiffany Taylor, and right now you're checking out In the Building TV. We right now, right now, right at now. this very moment, we in the building. We're in the building TV, so keep it locked, y'all. You already know. All right, let everybody know what they're watching. Well, who you here with? I'm here with Tiffany Taylor, and we up in the building. That's where we are. We right. in the building. We are in the building. We up in the building. We down in the building. We around the fucking building. Why are you not here? We in the building. Why are you know why they not here? Because they, they can't get in. That's why. I'm Jennifer Williams. And you're watching In the Building TV. TV. Taylor, you know what you're watching? Another bit of In the Building TV. I'm here at Skyrim Lounge. For those who don't know what I said, that's in the city. We here doing what we do best. I'm here to bring you a fashion show, some behind the scenes footage of the fashion show up on the rooftop in Skyrim Lounge. Let me get you in the building. Let's go. <laughs> Today we had a fashion show, have a lovely model here with a beautiful dress on. How you doing? I'm good, how about you? Let everybody know what your name is. My name is Asia Diamond. Um, I'm the CEO, I'm sorry, the CEO of Socially Flawless Marketing. I'm also a model and a dancer as well. Let us know a little bit more about this event today that you are, that you are a model in. Okay, well today, um, Derek Hughes, he goes by DL Agents' line. He was showcasing his line today at the Sky Room. Very unique from what I heard. Nobody's ever brought this to the Sky Room. Everybody does the other little simple things that he went out the box so okay. I was excited to work with him today it's, it's been a pleasure all right so today was your first time here no this is my second time here okay. so how did you like um, the experience of being at this event today I loved it I love modeling I love dancing it feels good to be back on the runway so it felt good today all right so what shows can we look forward to see you coming up um, right now I just got back into modeling so there's no shows coming right now um, I've been offered some things I just have to make some phone calls but you can stay tuned for me and my business partner um, reality show coming soon called Plugs In with four other people so that's about it so let us know a little bit more about your reality show what's going on ah you gotta wait and stay tuned how she, how she not gonna get us in the building she gonna blow it up and don't get us in the building can we get a little ah. bit all right, what can I tell you? Let me call my business partner, Terrell. So right now I have Terrell in the building. What's going on, Terrell? Oh, uh, nothing much. Trying to stay good as looking as you are, honey. Oh, thank you, honey. You're looking fine yourself. Oh, thank you. Thank you, love. I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting my shirt and everything already. <laughs> so t let our viewers know a little bit about you and tell them about yourself. Okay, well, my name is Terrell Everett. I'm a celebrity publicist. Uh, I go by the social IT. It's my business partner, Asia Diamond. Ravishing Asia Diamond. Um, we have several projects going on. I mean, we're getting endorsements. We're getting... Q&A's, we're getting anything you can think of, like you're throwing it at us right now. Congratulations! Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Um, our most recent project we're doing right now is a, uh, a reality show. I can't give you names yet, but... <laughs> we want some details. Uh, okay, I'm gonna give you some details. Basically, it's about aspiring people that are plugged in into the industry. Okay, and basically it talks about what we do to make sure our celebrity clients and clientele uh, reach where they need to be. Um, me and Asia are starting a powerhouse right now. Um, they can't stop us. The show basically reflects uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, it's just, it just reflects um, young entrepreneurs that are starting their businesses in the industry and the struggle it takes for them to get there. Like, we're about a few hundred thousand in. Like, I can't imagine what the next person is. So, you know, it's just going to highlight that and show us what we do. We do good work. Yeah. Definitely. So, if you had some advice for other people that's trying to do the same thing you're doing, what kind of advice would you give them? Follow your dreams. And do not give up. up. Whatever you do, it's, it's a rocky road out there, but you cannot give up. You're going to be broke. You're going to be hungry. You ain't going to have nowhere to live. Sleep, uh, sleep nice, no gas, <laughs> but don't give up, man. God makes a way out of nowhere, so keep it up, man. All right, so if anybody's looking for y'all, how can they find y'all guys? Okay, well, you can follow uh, me and Asia on Instagram at Asia Diamond and the underscore socialite T. That's S O I C A S O C I A L I T E. <laughs> the underscore socialite T. Uh, you can find us on Twitter at Asia Diamond Swell. And you can find me at Socialite T. Let everybody know what they're watching. You are tonight, you are watching In the Building TV. In at the, the Building. Sky Room. 
Let's see who else is in the building. Let's go. So right now, I'm here with one of the amazing designers for tonight. VIP Access, what's going on? How you doing for tonight? I'm doing fine. I just debuted my new collection. Um, called it definitely was amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've worked very hard on it. Okay. Let our viewers know your name. Oh, say that again? Let our viewers know your name. Uh, Derek L. Hughes, which is also known as DLH. And the name of your designs are? Uh, well, that is the name of my designs. Okay. The collection was called Metal. Yeah. All right. How long have you been designing? Um, I've been designing for about since 04, 05. So it's been a couple of years, at least a good 10, 11 down the line. So what inspired some of your designs for tonight? Tonight was basically um, paying homage to Alexandra McQueen. Um, that's one of my favorite designers. Um, he does a lot of head pieces and he does a lot of out the box type of shows. So I definitely wanted to pay homage to him because I, I respect him and I miss him greatly. So what other fashion shows have you had so far? Um, well, this was the, um, this is my first one in New York. Congratulations. I've only been in New York about a couple of months. Um, I'm from Maryland, so I do all of my fashion battles and fashion shows and hair shows out there. But I'm new to New York and I'm just trying to you know work my way through. So what would you say the difference is as far as fashion wise and doing fashion shows between Maryland and New York? Um, I love New York. <laughs> New York is best. It's for me. I'm All right, home. a little, a little high, fast pace. Yeah, it's high, fast pace. Very a show. Welcoming. Very welcoming. Somebody says a show is coming on Wednesday. We're doing it on Wednesday. It's no bull. It's, it's happening. All right, so um, you said you've been um, designing your clothes for the past 10 years now, right? Uh -huh. Yes, I have. So for other designers that's out there and that's trying to do the same thing you're doing, what kind of advice would you have for them? Um, the advice I would have for them is keep pressing through. When doors close, keep going through them, keep knocking them down. Find your way around, um, email, do whatever you have to do to get your clothes on who you want to get. Don't your forget clothes. copyright. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. That as well, that as well. All right, we also have the beautiful and sexy. She's looking beautiful for tonight. Let everybody know who you are. <laughs> Trish Romano, celebrity stylist. <laughs> so let, let us know some of the people you style. Um, I styled um, Ramona Rizzo of Mob Wives, Angelina Jersey Shore. Um, Freddie Robinson Jr. of Love and Hip Hop, Mama Jones, I mean, those are my girls, Coco, Icees, I love them. <laughs> so how did you get started in the business? Um, well, I was, I was a dancer for 20 years, and um, after after having my children, I said I had to take a back seat because I couldn't do any touring anymore, but fashion has always been my first love since my mom bought me my first Barbie doll, and I ripped up her clothes and cut her hair, and she said, you messed up the doll, and I said, no, she came messed up. Now she looks good. <laughs> <laughs> so, but up, up until about maybe three years ago, I said, you know what, I'm going to take this to the next level and become a stylist and, you know, work with fabulous designers such as Derek. And it's just, it's been one hell of a journey, I have to say, and it's amazing. And, and there's only, you know, one way up and that's where we're going, honey. All right, let us know a little bit more about the trials and tribulations of your journey. Um, actually, like, I mean, it's a lot, you know, you go through a lot, you have the haters, you have your, you know, people that say, yeah, I got your back, I got your back, and of course they don't, but at the end of the day, you know what, you stand alone, and no one is going to push harder than you will for yourself. So make sure you push yourself if these are things that you want to do. Absolutely, I mean, you know what, and then when you have a good support team, of course, that's very important, but, you know, sometimes they shut you down, and, you know, and you say, you know what, go ahead with yourself, because you know what, I got this. I got this, you know, and this is his first show here in New York City. He's had, he's had his issues, you know, wherever it was that he was in Maryland, and you know, and I say, honey, you in New York now? We keep it real here. I mean, no, 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 and loyal. Yes, and loyal. I mean, no offense to Maryland. I love you guys in Maryland because I've been there and I love it. But you know, shout out to Maryland. Yes, shout out to Maryland. <laughs> but you know, but here in New York, I got his back and. It's, it's, it's not stopping from here. This is his first show, but not the last. Definitely a beautiful thing. I'd love to say congratulations. Thank you. So if anybody was looking for you, how can they find you? Oh, they can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Flickr, and Foursquare, and Instagram, all at Trish Romato, or www.romatofaceandown, which is the name of my company, dot com. Everybody know 
would they watching tonight? Uh, Derek L. Hughes. So you can f find me on Twitter, Instagram as well. Derek L. Hughes. Same. Keep it consistent. And he's on fire. <laughs> All right, let everybody know what they're watching tonight. In the, in the building, building TV. TV. Yeah, look out. Let's see who else is in the building. Let's go. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? You already know this is GQ City Smooth coming with you right now. We are at the Sky Room. I am with two of my favorite gorgeous ladies in the building TV. Thank you so much for bringing us all together. I am here with the fabulous, fabulous, and most wonderful PR. That I'm Michelle Sanson. As you already know. <laughs> and we have Miss Victoria, Queen Victoria herself. Victoria Javaki. Listen, if you guys do not understand the hard work that these ladies pull in, I would not be CEO of my own company if it wasn't for these ladies. And I just wanted to express that thanks. Tiffany, I see you over there too. I got you. All right. Once again, thanks for joining us in the Building TV. What about yourself? Well, uh, it's so good to see you again, by the yeah. way. I was seeing you like a year or two. Exactly. It's been a year, actually. You look fabulous. Thank you. You too. Um, basically, I'm a PR for all underground artists. I'm now dealing with filmmakers as well as actors. I'm now authors, so you up-and-coming authors, please bring me your books. You can definitely contact me at mspublicistnumber1 at gmail.com, and I'll be happy to take you on and look at your stuff. So you're definitely on your grind, doing big things. Yeah, about my grind. If I congratulations. Start, thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you. See you, Tiffany. So tell us about your struggle and your grind on to what you're doing right now. So if you just could know a little bit about the industry and it takes real hard work to get there. It is definitely hard work and I will tell any artist, no matter the genre of entertainment that you are in, if you are about your business, be truly about your hustle. It is very important and you need to know the business as well as the artistry. It's important to know both because they go hand in hand. So take that into mind when you meet people and you want to get to know and make sure the people are about what you're about. Like-minded people help you grow. True story. Let everybody know um, how long you've been doing the business again. Oh wow, I've been actually, I've been in the fashion industry for 15 years, but I've been a PR for about maybe two and a half. So for anybody who doesn't know what a PR is, explain to what a PR is. Okay, I'm a publicist. Basically I handle, I take the unknown and I make them known. So what I do is, if you want to get more publicity, more events, if you're not able to get into certain things, like to meet wonderful Tiffany here, to be in front of a camera. Or to meet her wonderful that. self. Exactly. I get you into these things, and I help you to get your name and your 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 brand out, and that's most important. All right, so if anybody's looking and trying to find you, how would they find you? Definitely email me first. That's always the best way to contact anyone you want to deal with, agents, managers, and so forth. It helps you to get to know them before you get personal information. So definitely number one at gmail.com. And one more question before you leave. For some of you, I want to know, can you name some people that you've worked with so far? Always best. A true PR always keeps our list confidential. However, I work with people like Quentin here as well as Victoria, who has artists from all over. All right, so let everybody know what they're watching tonight. They are watching a famous In the Building TV, and thank you, Tiffany. You're welcome, babes. Congratulations and good luck with all your endeavors. Thank you. Let's see who else is in the building. Let's go. So right now, I'm in the building with a sexy actor that's coming up. What's going on? How you doing? Uh, I'm doing good. Great to hear. My name is Fidel Vicioso. Uh, I was born and raised in New York City. An actor who happens to be of black and Latino and Italian descent. So there's a lot of beautiful things happening. Yeah, there's a film that is called The House That Jack Built. It's going to be premiering at the L.A. Film Festival June 13th through the 23rd. I play the lead role, the nemesis called Chino. So we want to definitely say congratulations. You're in the building. Well, thank you. I absolutely am in the building, and I'm staying in the building. That's what's up. Ruckus. <laughs> so how long have you been acting? Now it's going to be 19 years. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your journey in acting. And did you take acting classes? You know. I sure did. Uh, it, it all started out in a choir, choir in a church uh, at the age of 10. 
uh, did some you know school work, sc some school plays or whatnot, and uh, that led to high school doing the drama club. The football team actually dared me to join the drama club, and I did, and I stood there, and I never came out of the drama club. I played football and I did drama classes, and I, I went to CW the Post, got a scholarship, did some acting classes there, but my journey really began, um, it chose me, I didn't choose it, it chose me at the age of 21. I decided to leave Wall Street, go back to changing my passion, so I went to Stella Alley Conservatory for two years, and the rest was history. It was an epiphany for me, and just you know, I realized that God and the universe had chosen this career path for me, and I just re surrendered and embraced it and ran with it. So let us know about one of your best moments in acting and going on interviews and things of that nature. What was one of your best experiences for you? Well, my first experience, uh, phenomenal experience, was working opposite of Samuel L. Jackson, Jeffrey Wright, and Vanessa Williams in Shaft. I played a hitman. I had three scenes. And uh, working with John Singleton was an amazing pleasure. So from that point, I was in 1999. From that point on, my career just skyrocketed. Yeah. So anything that we should look out for you that's coming up next? Absolutely. This is a film called The House That Jack Built. It's going to be out in the L.A. Film Festival, June 13th through 23rd. I play the role of Chino, who is the lead nemesis of the film. And I'm not going to give you any more information because I want you to see it. I want to spoil it. Well, definitely look in the camera and let everybody know how they can find you. Well, you can find me at uh, in Facebook, Fidel Vicioso. You can join my fan page. You could also uh, watch out for Blue Bloods on CBS. I did guest star appearance on that. I did two episodes. You could also see me as the voice of Dora the Explorer's father on Nickelodeon. I do the voiceover of her father. I was also on Sesame Street, opposite of Alma, Rosita, and the rest of the gang. So stay tuned, stay live, and stay in the building because we're coming at you all day, every day. All right, so let everybody know what they're watching. In the building. Let's see who else is in the building. So tonight we're at the Sky Room. And for those people, once again, who don't know where it's at, it's in the city. It was an amazing event. Got to see some models, some designers, some hairstylists, some everybody, celebrity, stylists, everything. We definitely was in the building. Um, got to meet some nice people, and so did you. So make sure you stay tuned for the next episode of In the Building TV with your girl, Tiffany Taylor, and I'm out the building. Hey, I'm Jennifer Williams, and you're watching In the Building TV. Hey, everyone, it's your girl, Asia Diamond. And it's your boy, The Socialite Team. And you are watching In the Building TV. Mwah. Murder, a.k.a. Mr. East New York, and I'm in the building with Tiffany Taylor and the Seven Kings, you heard? Brooklyn. Yo, what up? It's your boy, Fred the Godson, a.k.a. Goldo, Fred the Eco. And you watching in the building with Tiffany Teller. What's up? It's K Slade, the drama king. We in the building with Tiffany Teller and Seven Kings. You already know.